Trucks transport hundreds of thousands of tonnes of goods every day. They also travel significant distances, emitting substantial CO2 along the way. But now the race is on to make long-haul road travel emission-free. Behind me you can see a tiny bit of a five kilometer stretch of an electrified highway in Germany close to Frankfurt. What you can see there is basically like a tramway. It basically is the uh, catenary system, so the contact wire of a train or rail electrification system that um, provides electricity to the trucks while the truck is driving. These trucks have a hybrid engine. As soon as it is under the contact wire, the vehicle can raise the pantograph and connect to the catenary wire and then switch off the engine and continue its journey electrically and at the same time charge the battery. The uh, vehicles can connect and disconnect to the contact wire um, at highway speeds at any time. The system combines the efficiency of railway with the flexibility of trucks. With only um, one third of the German highway being electrified, you can already save approximately 10 million tons of CO2 emissions per year. If we look at the kilometer cost like we have behind me here, then we are talking about 2 to 2.5 million euros per kilometer. In order to achieve the CO2 targets in Germany, we need to achieve approximately 4,000 kilometers of electrified highways by 2030. We are talking about an investment of approximately 10 billion euros. Electric highways are still an outsider in the race to zero emission trucking. Until recently, the debate has mainly focused on whether batteries or hydrogen fuel cells are the best way to clean the industry. What's certain is that governments can't meet their carbon reduction targets without tackling trucking head on. Heavy transport is responsible for 22% of the EU's road transport emissions. That's despite trucks representing only 2% of the traffic. But by 2025, truck makers in Europe will need to cut carbon emissions in all new trucks sold by 15%. By 2030, it will be almost a third, meaning the destination is clear, but the road to get there, less so. It is really an absolutely revolution in which we are right now. Five years ago, we realised that batteries could also be an option for trucks. It's an electrically driven truck, so no internal combustion engine anymore. A normal truck um, emits a, around 80 to 90 tons a year uh, of CO2, and uh, this truck is locally emission free. It has the same connector, and you put it to the charging station like a traditional first passenger car. It takes a bit more than an hour to recharge the truck. Costs are still high. Uh, and they will remain high because the batteries are still quite expensive. Most of the manufacturers are looking into two different uh, options. So the one is the battery-driven truck and the other one is the hydrogen-driven truck. Our customers have requirements traveling from Warsaw down to Madrid and that really requires a very long range. And for that, hydrogen, we believe, is the better option. For those customers who have lower requirements on the range, so for example 400, 500 kilometers a day, for those maybe battery type driven uh, trucks the better option. In order to really comply with the CO2 reduction targets uh, by our society, we will have to build thousands of those trucks. It's not only that we have to do it, we have to do it in a very, very short time. Le transport de fret ferroviaire a longtemps été mis de côté et non priorisé. Vous êtes sur le premier terminal au monde, euh, entièrement automatisé avec la technologie Cargo Beamer. Le chauffeur routier arrive avec sa semi-remorque sur le terminal, il dépose uniquement sur une place de parking sur le terminal sa semi-remorque et il repart aussitôt faire autre chose à la guise de son employeur. 
Une fois donc, que le train arrive, nous utilisons la technologie de Cargo Beamer, les machines que vous avez devant vous. Donc tout ça se met en mouvement, c'est très rapide. Nous pouvons décharger et recharger un train complet en une vingtaine de minutes. Tout est électrique et absolument sans bruit et sans émission de CO2. Du ferroutage classique, effectivement, c'est plus long puisqu'il faut mettre en place forcément les machines. C'est plus bruyant, c'est plus polluant et ça demande beaucoup plus de place. Dans chacun de nos trains, nous pouvons mettre 36 semi-remorques par trajet. Donc nous retirons à chaque fois 36 semi-remorques des routes. Nous circulons pour le trajet Perpignan-Calais sur le réseau ferré national en France. Nous voulons multiplier les connexions dans l'Europe à travers tous les pays. Cette solution effectivement est amenée à monter en puissance pour délester les, les, les transporteurs en termes de personnel et, et de, de rapidité et d'efficacité. Effectivement, et on doit remplir les trains de, de toutes catégories confondues.